all of you good morning students uh, today topic ceylon the previous topic symmetry and diploblastic and triploblastic animals so diploblastic means in the embryonic uh, embryonic stage early embryonic stage the formation of the two germ layers outer ectoderm inner endoderm so that animals is called the diploblastic animals next one triploblastic animals so the triploblastic animals means so they are the embryonic stage they formation of three germ layers embryonic stage they formation of three germ layers outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm so today topic a coelom today topic is coelom the coelom means coelom means so the coelom was proposed by coelom was proposed by the scientist heckel the scientist heckel the coelom was proposed by the scientist named heckel next one the coelom means the definition of the coelom so the body cavity the body cavity which is lined by the body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom the body cavity which is lined by the mesoderm is called coelom another a meaning so uh, simple the coelom is the coelom is a fluid filled space the coelom is a fluid filled space between the body wall and visceral organs between the body wall and visceral organs and lined by the mesodermal epithelium lined by the mesodermal epithelium first of all you know visceral organs so visceral organs means the elementary canal is a visceral organ heart is a visceral organ lungs is a visceral organ liver so visceral organ kidneys the visceral organs so these are the visceral organs next one body wall so the outer layer just example so these are the visceral organs these are the body wall these are the body wall so the coelom is a fluid filled space is a fluid filled space between the body wall between the body wall so there are the body wall and visceral organs body wall and visceral organs so these are called the coelom once revised coelom means coelom is a fluid filled space coelom is a fluid filled space these are presenting on the between the body wall and visceral organs body wall and visceral organs so these are lined by the mesodermal epithelium these are lined by the mesodermal epithelium so these are called the coelom body cavity which is lined by the mesoderm so these are entire so these are the body cavity so these are the body cavity so the body cavity is lined by the mesoderm the body cavity is lined by the mesoderm so these are called the coelom coelom means the body cavity which is lined by the mesoderm is called coelom or another the coelom is a fluid filled space the coelom is a fluid filled space between the body wall and visceral organs between the body wall and visceral organs these are lined by the mesodermal epithelium these are lined by the mesodermal epithelium so these are called the coelom understand the coelom coelom means the space is a fluid filled space between the body wall and visceral organs these are lined by the mesodermal epithelium is called as coelom another one the body cavity which is lined by the mesoderm is called as coelom he was proposed by the scientist heckel the coelom was proposed by the scientist named heckel so these are the coelom next one the coelom is the three types the coelom is the three types first one a coelomates coelom is the three types first one is the a coelomates or a coelom second one pseudo coelom 
pseudocoelom third one true coelom or eucoelom first one a coelom second one pseudocoelom third one eucoelom the coelom is the three types first one a coelom second one pseudocoelom third one eucoelom first one a coelom first one a coelom so a coelom means so in the animals the animals presenting on the outer ectoderm and inner endoderm but the middle space the middle space is formed by the mesenchyme the middle space is formed by the mesenchyme so the ectoderm outer ectoderm inner endoderm middle space is the mesoderm these animals the mesoderm is formed by the mesenchyme the mesoderm is formed by the mesenchyme so there is no space the space is occupied by the mesenchyme the space is occupied by the mesenchyme so there is no space between the visceral organ and the body wall so these are called the a coelom these are called the a coelom a means absent coelom a coelom it mean coelom is absent so the the mesoderm is derived from the mesenchyme mesoderm is formation of the mesenchyme so they are the entire space is occupied by the mesenchyme between the body wall and the visceral organs there is no space there is no fluid field so these are called the acelomates they are called the acelomates a means absent of the coelom a coelom means absent of coelom so the presenting on the outer ectoderm inner endoderm but middle mesoderm is formed by the mesenchyme so there is no space these are called the acelom example flati elminthes example is the flati elminthes example flati elminthes understand the acelom acelom means there is no body cavity these are mesoderm is derived from the mesenchyme so these are called the acelom example flati elminthes examples flati elminthes so these are the outer ectoderm these are the inner endoderm middle space is occupied by the body cavity empty space or fluid filled space but these acelomates the mesoderm is derived from the mesenchyme the mesenchyme is derived from the mesoderm so there is no space the space is filled by the mesenchyme so there is no body cavity so these are called the a coelom these are called the a coelom next one these are the second one pseudo coelom second one is the pseudo coelom second one pseudo coelom the pseudo coelom means so these are the pseudo coeloms the pseudo coelom means these are presenting on the body cavity these are presenting on the body cavity but that a body cavity does not covered by the mesoderm epithelium does not covered by the mesodermal epithelium once revised pseudo coelom pseudo coelom means these are presenting on the body cavity these are presenting on the body cavity but this does not covered by the mesodermal epithelium so this coelom is called the pseudo coelom so they are presenting on the coelom but they are presenting on the body cavity the body cavity does not covered by the mesodermal epithelium so these are called the pseudo coelom so next one the pseudo coelom the space is filled with a fluid they are the fluid the fluid is called the pseudo coelomic fluid the fluid is called the pseudo coelomic fluid they are presenting on the outer ectoderm inner endoderm middle mesoderm they are presenting on the middle space empty space that space is filled with a fluid the pseudo coelomic fluid but this fluid is does not covered by the mesoderm so these are called the pseudo coelom so these are called the pseudo coelom example the example phylum is the nematoda example phylum is the nematoda so the nematodes the first exhibit a 
ट्यूब विथ इन ए ट्यूब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ट्यूब विथ इन ए ट्यूब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द फर्स्ट टाइम निमटोड्स एक्सिबिट दि ट्यूब विथ इन ए ट्यूब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दे आर दि outer one tube inner one tube so one large tube uh, present again the inner side the small tube so they are called the tube with in a tube organization two marks very very important question tube with in a tube which organisms are exhibit the tube with in a tube organization the answer is the nematodes are exhibit the tube with in a tube organization so these are the pseudo coelom pseudo coelom means the presenting on the body cavity is a presenting on the body cavity but that body cavity does not covered by the mesodermal epithelium the body cavity does not covered by the mesodermal epithelium so this coelom is called the pseudo coelom the coelom is called the pseudo coelom example phylum is a nematoda example phylum is a nematoda third one u coelom third one is a u coelom so the u coelom means these are the true coelom u coelom means these are the true coelom so these are presenting on the body cavity these are presenting on the body cavity so the body cavity is covered by the mesodermal membranes the body cavity is covered by the mesodermal membrane outer membrane is the parietal peritoneum outer membrane is the parietal peritoneum inner membrane is the visceral peritoneum so these are called the true coelom or u coelom once revised so these are presenting on the body cavity so they are the body cavity the body cavity is covered by the mesodermal epithelium the body cavity is covered by the mesodermal epithelium so the outer epithelium is the parietal peritoneum inner layer is the visceral peritoneum so they are covered by the visceral organs outer side is the parietal peritoneum inner side is the visceral peritoneum these two is called the mesoderm these two is called the mesoderm so the mesoderm is covered by the body cavity the mesoderm is covered by the body cavity so these are called the u coelom or true coelom once revised so the animals the animals presenting on the body cavity presenting on the body cavity that body cavity is covered by the mesoderm that body cavity is covered by the mesoderm so the animals is called the u coelomates or true coelomates the mesoderm is the outer layer is the parietal peritoneum inner layer is the visceral peritoneum so these are the u coelom so they are presenting on the outer ectoderm middle mesoderm inner ectoderm the mesoderm is the two layers outer parietal peritoneum inner visceral peritoneum so these are the u coeloms next one another two marks question is the retro peritoneal organs retro peritoneal organs two marks very very important question retro peritoneal organs the retro peritoneal organ means the organs for example these are the kidney kidney so the retro peritoneal organ means the organs only covered by the partial peritoneum only on the outer side the organs covered by the partial peritoneum only on the outer side so these organs are called the retro peritoneal organs two marks very very important question what is the retro peritoneal organs answer the organs covered by the only partial peritoneum on the ventral side so these are called the retro peritoneal organs example mammals kidney mammals kidney the mammals kidney so these are the retro peritoneal organs retro peritoneal organ means the organs covered by the partial peritoneum only on the outer side so these are called the retro peritoneal organs example a mammals kidney mammals kidney so these are the retro peritoneal organs next one the u coelom is divided into two types u coelom is also two types the u coelom is divided into two types one is the cyzocelom one is the 
Sizoselum. Second one is the Enterocelum. Sizoselum. First one Sizoselum. Second one Enterocelum. The Trocelum or Eocelum contain a two types. One is the Sizoselum. Second one Enterocelum. First one Sizoselum. First one Sizoselum. The Sizoselum means Sizoselum means the mesoderm. So these are the mesoderm. Just example, this rough diagram. So these are the mesoderm. The mesoderm, the formation of the splitting, the mesodermal membranes, the splitting. So they are the splitting. The splitting, they are the formation of the coelom. The mesodermal membrane, they are the splitting. So they are the formation of the coelom. So these are called the Sizo coelom, Sizo coelom. The mesodermal membrane, their formation of the splitting. That splitting, the formation of the coelom. That coelom is called the Sizo coelom. The mesodermal membrane is also present in the 4D blastomere cells. 4D blastomere cells. The 4D blastomere cells. They are the splitting. The 4D blastomere cells are the splitting. That splitting, the formation of the coelom. That coelom is called the sizo coelom. That coelom is called the sizo coelom. Example phylums: Annelida, Arthropoda, and Mollusca. Annelida, Arthropoda, and Mollusca, Saizo coelom. Saizo coelom means the animals, the mesodermal, the mesodermal membranes are presenting on the 4D blastomere cells. That 4D blastomere cells are the splitting. The 4D blastomere cells are the splitting. There is formation of the coelom. That coelom is called the Saizo coelom. The coelom is called the Saizo coelom. So the Saizo coelom are the proterostroms. The Saizo are the proterostroms. Proterostroms. Saizo are the proterostroms. Next one, the spherical cleavage, spiral. Spiral cleavage. Next one, determinate. Determinate cleavage. Determinate cleavage. Size of elements are the proterostroms and uh, spiral and determinate cleavage. The first one proterostroms. First one proterostroms. The proterostroms means in the embryonic stage. In the embryonic stage. In the embryonic stage, the formation of the four. That four is called the blastophore. In the embryonic stage, the whole is called the blastophore. Blasto four in the embryonic stage they are presenting on the blasto four. These blasto four the formation of the first mouth. They are formation of the mouth. Next one they are the continue to the the second formation of the anus. These are the anus. So this type of the animals is called the proterostroms. Protero means protero means first. The stomium means mouth. The first formation of the mouth. In the embryonic stage, the blastophore is formation of the mouth. That organisms are called the proterostomes. Next one, spiral cleavage. Next one, spiral cleavage. The spiral cleavage means the cleavage. First one, cleavage. Cleavage means so they are the one cell. One cell divided into two, two divided into four, four divided into eight, eight divided into sixteen. This cell division is called the cleavage. But this cleavage is the spiral. The spiral means this like. These are the spiral cleavage. So these are the one cell. One cell is divided into two cells. Two divided into four cells. Four divided into eight cells. So this type of the cleavage is called the spherical cleavage. Spiral cleavage. Next one, determinate cleavage. Determinate cleavage. So determinate cleavage means, for example, these are the embryo 
the cleavage stage. So they are particular region. So these are particular region. They formation of the head. These particular region formation of the heart. These particular region formation of the liver. So these type of the cleavage is called the determinate cleavage. These are called the determinate cleavage. Once revised, cytosylum. The cytosylum means in the mesodermal membrane, the splitting, the formation of the phylum is called the cytosylum. The mesodermal membrane presenting on the 4D blastomere cells. These are the splitting, the formation of the coelom. So, they are called the cytosylum. Example, Anelida, Arthropoda and Mollusca. Anelida, Arthropoda and Mollusca. Next one, the cytosylomates are the proterostomes. The cytosylomates are the proterostomes. Proterostomes means in the embryonic stage, the blastophore, the formation of the mouth, the second formation of the anus. So, these are called the proterostomium. Next one, the spherical cleavage. The cleavage, the cell division is the spherical like structure. So, they are called the spherical cleavage. Next one, determinate cleavage. Determinate cleavage means they are the particular space, the formation of the particular organ. So, these are called the determinate cleavage. So, these are the cytosylum. Next one, enterocelum. Next one, enterocelum. Enterocelum. So, the enterocelum means these are the enterocelum means the mesodermal pouches of archenteron. Mesodermal pouches of archenteron, they formation of the coelom. The mesodermal pouches of archenteron, they formation of the coelom. That type of coelom is called the enterocelum. The mesodermal pouches of the archenteron. The mesodermal presenting on the archenterons. That archenterons, the formation of the coelom. That coelom is called the enterocelum. The coelom is called the enterocelum. Example phylums are the echinodermata. Echinodermata, hemicardata. Hemicardata and cardata. Echinodermata, hemicardata and cardata. So, these are the examples of the enterocelum. Enterocelum means the mesodermal pouches presenting on the archenterons. That archenterons, the formation of the coelom. That coelom is called the enterocelum. Example pylums is the echinodermata, hemicardata and cardata. Echinodermata, hemicardata and Data. Next one, these animals are the deuterostomes. Deuterostomes. These animals are called the deuterostomes. That cleavage is called the radial cleavage. Radial cleavage and indeterminate. Indeterminate. Radial cleavage and indeterminate. Deuterostomes means in the embryonic stage, the blastophore, the formation of the anus. The blastophore is formation of the anus. The second formation of the mouth. The second formation of the mouth. Deutero means, du means second. Stome means mouth. Second formation of the mouth. In the embryonic stage, the blastophore is formation of the anus. The second formation of the mouth, these type of animals is called the entero deuterostomes. The animals is called the deuterostomes. Next one, a radial cleavage. The radial cleavage means one cell divided into two cells, divided into four cells, four divided into eight cells. So these are the radial cleavage. So these are the radial cleavage. Next one, indeterminate. So indeterminate means so these are the entire cell. So there is no particular organ formation. So any place the any organs are the formation. So they are the does not identify the uh, particular space formation of the particular organ. So these are called the indeterminate means does not identify. So these are called the indeterminate cleavage. So these are the cytosylum and enterocelum. Once the coelom was proposed by the scientist Heckel, 
the silo means the body cavity is lined by the mesoderm is called the silo or the silo is a fluid filled space between the body wall and the visceral organs is covered by the mesodermal epithelium is called the silo silo is the three types a silo pseudo silo u silo a silo means absent of the silo that body cavity space is occupied by the mesenchyme there is no silo so they are called the a silo example phylum is the flatty elementis second one pseudo silo pseudo silo means these animals presenting on the body cavity but does not covered by the mesodermal membranes so they are called the pseudo silo example is the nematoda next one the nematodes are the first exhibit within a tube within a tube organization next one third one is the ucilum ucilum means the animals presenting on the body cavity that body cavity is covered by the mesoderm so that silum is called the ucilum the mesoderm is divided into two layers outer parietal peritoneum inner visceral peritoneum and two marks important question retroperitoneal organs retroperitoneal organ means the organs covered by the only partial peritoneum on the ventral side is called the retroperitoneal organs example mammal's kidney next one the anterior ucilum is divided into two types cisocilum and anterocilum cisocilum and anterocilum the cisocilum means the cilum is formed by the splitting of the mesoderm the cilum is formed by the splitting of mesoderm so the formation of the cilum is called the cisco cilum example annelida arthropoda mollusca next one enterocilum enterocilum means the cilum is formed by the mesodermal pouches of archenteran the cilum is formed by the mesodermal pouches of archenteran that cilum is called the enterocilum next one and the acilum the organs the acilomates organs does not freely movement so they are the solid body plan these are the solid body plan the organs are the does not freely movement so the acilomates and pseudocilomates they are the fluid filled space they are presenting on the visceral organs the visceral organs are the freely movement so these are the acilom